Today we are going to talk about how to identify research ideas specifically for the cyber security industry. What is research? The research is nothing but a process of finding a solution to unsolved problem. It's a problem that no one has solved before. Now it's very improbable that you stumble upon something that has not been solved by anyone yet. But you can improve upon the existing solution. You try to find out gaps or drawbacks in the existing solution and you try to close them by improving them. You can test the effectiveness of an existing solution. Now I want to share certain misconceptions about research that everyone has. The first misconception is that research is about writing a program or a tool. Writing a program or tool is not considered research until and unless it is like a POC, proof of concept of some research method that you have identified. The second misconception is like no one has thought about what I am thinking. Now, we do not know how many people are thinking what we are thinking. So, it's not really safe to assume that no one has thought about it. The third misconception is that I can complete my research in a short period of time. If you can do it in a very short period of time, then it's not research. As I said in the earlier two points, you need to make something new and unique then there are several people who are already working on that which means that simultaneously while you are working on it someone else is also working on it it is possible that by the time you reach a particular level they would have gone two times the level so every time you sit down to write a research paper you will always feel that you are far behind the fourth misconception is that if I am not successful in research, uh, my reputation will go down. Now, what do we call a successful research? To get started with, uh, you make a hypothesis, which is just an assumption. This hypothesis is like the base of your research. Your goal is to prove that the hypothesis is true, which means that what you had assumed is correct. Over a period of your research, you find out that your assumption is not true, it is false. You feel like, okay, my research is all a waste because my assumption is not true. Well, it's not like that. Uh, research is not defined based on success or failure. It is uh, based on what is the process you went through, which means that even if your hypothesis is false, your assumption is false, you have still successfully completed your research, completed your research. And finally, the last point is that research is hard or research is not for me. Uh, let me tell you, we research about things every day. For me personally, I believe that everyone is a researcher since birth and we just tend to forget our analytical skills as we go ahead. But research is definitely for everyone and anyone can become a researcher. So let's go to the main topic here. We are going to discuss upon how to find a research idea. As I said earlier, first of all, you start with a hypothesis. Alright, you make an assumption. For example, let's take an example here. If you have seen the movie Interstellar, there is a scene where they actually hack a drone while driving in a car through a laptop and some kind of a radio signal transmitter or receiver. It is possible to hack drones that are passing above my living room. Now, this is very interesting because uh, I think this is going to be the future of security. Everything is going to be done through drones, food delivery and security and a lot of stuff. And if you can actually hack drones while sitting in your living room, it's just going to be fun. Now, that's our hypothesis, right? Now, we come to the next step. And the next step is about uh, uh, reviewing the literature, which means we need to find out if someone has done that before. All right. So, in this phase, you will be able to identify how many people are actually working on this area. The good thing is that you will also be able to identify the techniques that they are using. 
which means you already know what is the way already know what is the way people are following and now you go to the third step uh, you need to identify whether you can go beyond them right because you need to identify something that is much better than them or you need to identify gaps in their research and if you are able to do that then yes this research topic is definitely for you so now you go to the last stage which is define where you create your research idea which means that you are drafting the right words for the idea you have already created it because you know that uh, this is the thing that you are working on but now it is the stage to you know draft the right words in it and in that way you can just uh, put it in your research proposal that this is the topic that i'm going to work upon all right so now we are going to see going to see practically how to generate a research idea and we'll continue with uh, our initial assumption about drone hacking so what i am going to do now since i have a hypothesis that it is possible to hack drones you know right now it is still very vague because i am not really sure how i am going to do that i am just uh, about to do that that's what i have on mind and now what i am going to do is i am going to go to google scholar which is like scholar.google.com so i am just going to go to google scholar and uh, type out my research topic vaguely i uh, you see here you already have uh, two of the suggestions here uh, but we still will go with our uh, keyword okay so you see this first link here that is about hacking a drone and uh, you can always open it in a tab uh so this thing was uh, presented in a hacking conference so technically it is not a research paper but it is still research which means you cannot directly take this one okay and uh, let's see yes this seems more or less like drone hacking and the researcher is focusing on uh, breaking into the xb protocol in order to get things up there is also the description of the attacks and so on all right which means that there is already a great amount of work which is done here in this area uh, we'll just close this one for now and uh, however since it is not a research paper published in a journal we'll still try to find out if uh, uh, someone has already done that before so you can uh, look at this one drone hacking with raspberry pi 3 so if you can look at this one it is actually presented in 2019 and it is in ieee which is a very reputed uh, uh, journal which means there has been a good research which has been done by this particular person abstract in most of the cases the paper would be like a paid one so you can uh, just read the abstract and the introduction all right so here what is happening is uh, uh, the paper is discussing uh, certain techniques which are uh, will used for securing drones right but uh, finally there is no uh, you know clear conclusion here you can read this part this paper investigates the current state of drone security it demonstrates a set of wifi enabled drone vulnerabilities all right so there is someone who has already worked on uh, 
um, demonstrating the vulnerabilities existing in drones. So, um, um, the point which is taken is that it is possible to hack drones and someone is already working on it. I mean, so many people are uh, uh, working on this one. And you can probably just try to find out what you want to do here. So, our job is to do more and more research, right? You keep reading more and more papers and try to find out um, what has been done. As you can see, the first page had a great set of results. The second page had a little bit of lesser results. And I see very few, you know, keywords on the third page or so, which means that um, this area of research is still relatively new. And it means that this can be your this can be your research idea. All right. So now we have done three parts. The first part was about creating an assumption or a hypothesis. Um, our hypothesis was that it is possible to hack drones. Um, sitting in the living room, of course. Uh, the second stage was about reviewing literature. It was about all of the work which has been already done about all of the people who are working on this area. And then the third step was about identifying uh, whether you are able to go beyond them. So it is certainly possible to go beyond them since there is like lesser amount of work which is done in this area. All right. And so now it is the time for you to uh, identify and define your exact definition well one of them was pretty literal we can just take our drones which are passing above my living room this would mean that i would need to have two different uh, technologies here one would be about detecting drones that are passing above my living room and then uh, obviously hacking them which means i need to find out a technique to detect a drone sufficiently far enough from my location so that i can uh, probably turn on my hacking gear and start the process which means i need to hack the drone in that limited time period that i get okay sounds good we just generated like at least three to four research ideas um, in this short video so this is the methodology or the technique that you need to use in order to generate more research ideas and um, it is sometimes it is as simple as that uh, that's about it uh, all that i have for today and if you have any more questions you can always uh, drop them in the comment box i will definitely get back to you and also feel free to reach out to me on my twitter or email